Hi, this is a quick video that we are making to show how to marble dip fabric. This is my handsome assistant, Gabriel, and he is going to help with putting down the inks and going ahead and helping with the fabric and lifting it up. I will also show you some things that we did earlier, some trial and error pieces and some things we found out and noticed along the way. So without any hesitation, are you ready? Are you gonna wear gloves or no? Mm -hmm. He doesn't like to wear gloves. He likes to be the gloveless bandit, which that's fine. Um, so we've taken our bucket here and we have filled it up with water. And it's a little bit warmer than regular just tap water. Um, we found that if it got too cold, the paint would start to bead up and bubble. And we didn't want that. The fabric that we're using right now, it's just a polyester type fabric. It's not a silk or anything like that. It's just fabrics that I had that's extra laying around from making my fabric cups and such. It's got a lot of nice pull to it. Um, it's a Lycra polyester. So if nothing else, we can make some cute little headbands for my granddaughter. That's my husband's fire alarm going off. He's holding the camera. So this, you have your that. And then here we have what colors we're going to use. We've played with a lot, but we've decided to go with what? Rose. Rose. We're still working on our R's. All right, so go ahead and put the, put the rose in. Careful. So we have our rose, and then we'll save this one for last. And then we have, what is that? Citron. Citron. All right, toss that in. Okay. And then this is magenta. Magenta. Okay, go ahead and put that in. Okay, that's good, that's good. And then we have a splash of violet. So we'll put some violet in. And then one of my favorites is the, the elusive turquoise, but it always seems to disappear on us. Where did it go? No, that's the blue. Where's turquoise? It was right there. Oh, here it is. Turquoise. It had teeth and feet, it would run away. All right, so throw that in in some spots. Okay. He's such a good sprayer. And... Last but not least, we're gonna do some gold glitter. We're gonna put that in spots. Remember to get close to the water. Put it in the circles there. Okay, good. We're not gonna use any colorless. And then I have an old stick here. So if you bring the camera in, you see that here we already have some of these bigger blotches and dots that are forming. We want to get rid of them. And any big blotches, we're going to get rid of them because they're going to glob up on the fabric. And you really don't want that. So without trying to pull up everything, you want to try and get rid of some of these areas that are going to be a problem. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Oops, there's a bubble. Right here. Where are you going? You stay over here on this side. I'll go on the other side. And we have a few globs here. It might actually affect how the turnout is. So. I'm just going to remove the toy shotgun. Hold on, I'm going to make a drink. Okay. So, you're going to take both ends and you pull it tight. Do you see the fabric, Jason? Mm -hmm. 
We pull it tight and then we're gonna lay it down on top. Ready on three, ready? One, two, three. I don't have a lot of water in here. Maybe half an inch or so. And I just pat it down like that. And I'm gonna push the excess away. And I'm going to pull this up. My hands are very sticky. You can see now, you can see where the gold was. And if you look, you can see where some of the paint, like I talked about, some of the globs were. That's why you really want to try and get them up. But when you're doing this, you're going to get a layer of paint, uh, paint on here pretty quick. And as you saw, it, it dried up really, really fast. So to make any specific designs or whatever, we're going to have to place some more. I have some more pictures that I will post of other ones that we did, but for the fourth or fifth time, it's not that bad. It would make, if you sew up the sides, trim it up. I think it'll make a really cute little head bow for somebody or a bow tie or a bandana for someone who works out. Is it perfect? No, but that's why you play with it. And I will show pictures of everything when it dries. Thank you so much. Gabriel, say goodbye. Bye. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.